Excel hash is here. Thanks for all of your suggestions for ingredients. And here are the four that won. Max function. Frequency function. Form control. And 3D model. And thanks to the people who agreed to do this, we've got Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin, Mike Gervin of Excel is Fun, Minda Tracy, my online training hub, John Akinpura, Excel Campus, and none other than Layla Gorani, who goes by Layla Gorani. That is like Sting, Cher, The Pope, Oprah, Layla Garani and then me Oz Excel on fire all right and all of our videos will be released today so please check them all out and I'm gonna have a link for you to vote so what did I come up with I call mine greatest threat check this out immediately you can see two uses of form controls I've got the radio buttons and spin buttons you can also see the 3D model is here. What's going on? Imagine with me. We have to send teams of people in to help other people. But there's problems and we have to calculate what the team is most likely to have to deal with. Hence, greatest threat. And right now is showing situation B between 64 and 4, that range is calculated somehow magically. The greatest threat is Vlad's monitor. And there's information for dealing with Vlad's monitor. So let's see what else is happening. Situation A. The vampire earwig. Good God Almighty. They kill 90 people a day around the world. They have nothing to play with. Let's change some of the data. Let's use the spin button. Ninety-six to eight. Wasp de fatal. Dangerous. That situation A. Would situation B be any different? Let's look. Vlad's monitor in that range, but in situation B. So let's go back to A. Let's look 12 to 2. 12 to 8, the hell beetle. 12 to 2, situation A, wasp de fatal. Situation B, the ghost wolf. And also notice the warning data changed. So how does this work? I'm using the 3D models to give the pictorial representation so that our teams have an idea of what they're looking at. And they are over here in pics. Okay, now I've got X, Y, Z, and along the side, lizard, hippo, spider, wasp, wolf, beetle earwig and you can see wolf x is being calculated wolf y wolf z that's how the images on the main sheet wind up getting pulled over and here is the text that gets pulled in now let's go back let's check out our ghost wolf well let's get a different orientation on the wolf Go back to the main sheet. Boom. The orientation changed. <laughs> now, how do we get the model in here? That's at insert 3D models from online sources. And we can choose from here. So if you want to look at food and drink, here are some options. So we've got my form controls and my 3D models in place. How is this working? 
open this unhide okay here is all of our data so we've got 101 and that is a type 2 now let's scroll down now see here's a calculation that I'm using if type 2 is selected and this 9 is between the high and the low which it is then pull that over so that's how we have 9 3 6 4 etc we don't have the 14 or the 91 they are not between the 12 and the 2 now let's go over here in order to use frequency I have to have data and bins I have my bins automatically calculate so this 14 is going by the highest number that's been pulled over remember that 2 and then the numbers between 12 and 2 so I said grab the greatest number that is pulled over add 5 to it that's my largest bin my smallest bin always starts at 1 and then the ones in the middle are calculated this bin is the largest bin times 0 0.45 so the bins automatically adjust. Let's watch. I'm going to uh, I'm going to raise the max. Looking at the range 28 to 2. Our largest bin is 29. Smallest is 1. The ones in between are distributed based on its calculations. I also added tie breaks because sometimes these frequencies would be the same but I wanted it to grab the one closest to the bottom alright so let's look at 52 to 4 earwig wasp and hippo show up as 3 I wanted to be sure that we get hippo in that situation and exactly we do hippo stampede did you know that eight people an hour are killed, maimed, or terrified by hippos? So there you go. Max makes my largest bin for me. When I use the frequency formula, I have the data, and then the bins, and then I add the tie breaks. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so you see the tie breaks, the bins, and then over here, is the data that's been pulled over because we're looking at situation B which is 2 and then how do I pick the threat that's here use an index match and max again and let me show you some other things that are going on in this model I'm gonna right click format control I have the spin buttons incrementing by 2 so let's increase this so I can show you one other thing Forty-eight, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-four. So this shows red in case the high and the low get reversed. Bring this back down to something sensical. Let's look at situation A. That is still Vlad's monitor. Let's look between twelve and zero. The death spider. Twelve to zero. Situation A. Situation B. The ghost wolf there it is my recipe for Excel hash I'm gonna give you the links to the other contestant solutions and a link so that you can vote all right thanks again and beware of the ghost wolf see you in the next video